Welcome to my channel about embedded systems, fish techniek and robotics. If you're new to this channel and or haven't subscribed yet, uh, please subscribe via the sentinel in the bottom right corner. Thank you for subscribing. As you can see this video is focused on my walking robot MIFT 2 based on the TXT controller all uh, with fish technique. Um, the controller is running embedded Linux and is uh, programmed in Python. Last time um, I did some extensive walking tests and to my surprise I had to reverse again uh, the walking direction because it turned out to be walking backwards instead of forward. However, um, there are still some issues with the gears and also some issues with um, the color separation which I need for these objects to separate the red and turn every other color into black. So um, more walking tests and OpenCV tests um, for this episode. In order to do the walking tests I have to power up. So I have to connect the power wires to both batteries. And after that, power up the controller. And when it's power up, I change to screencast because from there I have to control everything. And obviously, I don't use the screencast to control, but I, use, I make a screencast um, so I can show you what to do on the computer with which I control it. In case uh, you missed uh, the video for um, the two battery packs, of course I don't need two battery packs to power up uh, the controller, um, but one battery pack is not enough power for four motors. And there are four motors involved, two for each side. So. Um, let's make sure that everything is connected nice. This is working nicely, very good. With two batteries nicely charged, very good. Then log in here. And I do have to set the date first, which I do not like, but I have to do it. And this is 23rd by now. 12.57. So that's correct. And entering the source code. And here, like this, and from here I can run. So let's run and see how the behavior is this time. Two and a half seconds to initialize the camera. And hopefully without error, giving in the speed. And this time, although there is some rattling and diversion because it doesn't walk in a straight line once again, but at least it walks forward, um, which is very nice. And then a sound. And uh, it says one battery is 9 volts, the other one is 9.2 volts, which is quite nice. Then, that's one thing, um, now let's see, image, I 
this is one image and then this is the other one which I want to see and I'm not quite enthusiastic about this although it has been worse much worse so let's put it back in place and do another test with the robot set back to its uh, place with a little twist now the direction is a little um, well out of angle towards the right and I hope the restart for the software is now without error and uh, often that doesn't happen yeah okay now it's good It is sending images, so I have to take the first image that is being um, made and it ends up completely out of direction. Which means that the left side is not operating as desired. And now suddenly I have here 7.6 and 8.3. What does the Robo Pro tell me? Uh, nothing like okay so I am not quite sure which one is reliable anyway um, where is the start of this run right here so I need to take this one Paste, 100%. Okay, that is towards the right. Then I need to take this one, which will be to the center. No, it's not. Okay. No, I need to take this one. Uh, that means that I have to take 23, 13, 11, 3. That's a premature and I need to take this one. And that's a misery really misery didn't expect this one if you compare these two then it's clearly uh, to see which one is a lot better this one should be as good as this one or even better not nice with the camera moved to a slightly different position um, let's view um, if we can if I can why uh, the robot is um, not heading straight forward so let's go A little resistance. Well, the only thing that I can figure out is there's no rattling. There are no gears that are um, audibly against each other. They run as fast. The legs move as fast. Um, 
So why does it diverge from its course? I really can't tell by looking at it. Not good. And by the way, now I have a very different um, accurate charge as well. What does this say? There's nothing wrong with this. But how to figure this out? Put it on the scaffold again and look for it. Uh, which is much less fun than this. Can't tell right now. What I will do now is put more speed behind it. So I'm going to start it again. Hopefully no camera error. No. Nope. And then make it 550. See what happens. It's not doing a thing. Okay. 550, it's not doing anything. Uh, going to 500. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so let's say 500 is the speed limit of the motors. And let me straighten this. Oh, look at this. And here I have a gear problem. Yep. Here is a gear problem. Which is not good. And it certainly shows out um, that here on this side is definitely a speed problem. Because with the 500 it turned very qu quickly that way. I have to analyze and fix. But that analysis and possible fix um, is for next time. For now, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press the um, thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Very much um, appreciated. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please show your support by either becoming a patron or donate via PayPal, for which you don't need a PayPal account. Um, this is obviously going to be continued. So, for now, uh, once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.